Welcome to uh, another live stream here from uh, Lugosul, the headquarters in uh, Hanusand, Sweden. And uh, if you want to know more about Lugosul and our products, uh, please visit our homepage. Go to lugosul.com and do sign up for the newsletter uh, to be first to know about uh, new products, campaigns, um, and inspiration from uh, here from Logosol. Uh, if you want to see our previous live streams, uh, you can go to uh, either our Facebook page, Logosol Portable Sawmills, or our YouTube channel, and that's also Logosol Portable Sawmills, to find all the uh, previous uh, content we have there. And uh, we've done more than... Now, we've done 100 live streams last year, more than, mm. Mm. about, about. Fi uh, 100 live streams. And we're uh, continuing this year, uh, we've done one already, so this is live stream number two, or four. In English, four yeah, in. Four in total. Total, yeah. Oh, ben, I'm never going to keep track of that. <laughs> uh, so today's <laughs> live stream... Um, Will be, did I mention that you can sign up for the newsletter if you go to lugosul.com? Do it. Um, yeah, today's live stream uh, is going to be about the big mill, white slabber. And we have a new colleague with us. Hello. Anton. Welcome, Anton. Yeah, thank you. Welcome to Lugosul. Uh, and he's actually going to, this is kind of a, an education. Uh, when you're uh, newly employed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're having this uh, staff training, uh, but live instead. So uh, you'll be able to join. So we'll show the Big Mill White Slabber, uh, setting it up for the first cut, or for the second cut, <laughs> if I look at this log that we have here. And Anton is going to do all the hard work. And I'm just going to sit back and relax. <laughs> no. No, <laughs> we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna help out too, and we're uh, gonna try to explain and uh, do everything nice and easy to uh, to show you how it works, and Anton will get the feel for it uh, as well. So, and uh, we will have the chat open. So, if you have any questions or anything that you want to know during the live stream, just write your question in the chat. Karin will be the chat master and yes. uh, <laughs> take care of so that we uh, see what you've been uh, asking us. And we'll try to uh, answer all those questions during the, the stream. So, welcome. Let's get started. Yes. Good luck, Perfect. Anton. And we can also mention that the campaign is yeah, still live. The campaign, the campaign is uh, running until January 31st. Yeah, Sunday, this week. So on Sunday is the last day for the campaign. So take the opportunity to uh, do a good deal. Make a good deal by latest Sunday. We you have a lot of great offers in the campaign. Yeah. And, if and you, how can you see them? If you go to lucasool.com. <laughs> uh, and uh, press the sale button up in the left uh, corner on the home page. You get to see all the um, uh, campaign uh, offers that we have right now. I mean, you can always make a good deal with Logosol. But Absolutely. now it's like special. A golden opportunity. A golden opportunity, exactly. It's, we have those uh, grinders. When you buy a Banzo mill, you get a grinder for free. And also, if you buy a chainsaw mill, you get the chain grinder for free. So that's great uh, and, and a great start uh, if you purchase a chainsaw mill or a bandsaw mill to have your own sharpening equipment. We have already a lot of comments. I, I just have to read some yeah. of them. Hello from Bangladesh, from Arizona, Slovakia, Wisconsin, India. Yeah, it's great. Welcome. Welcome, an everybody. Uh, an international audience. Here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, all over. I not India. Indiana. 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 Yeah. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> big difference. Yeah, it's, it's quite, quite a big <laughs> difference. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, but that's really nice to uh, hear that we have uh, a lot of viewers already. And keep commenting and ask questions. And uh, 
as I told you before, uh, or as you've already understood, we're going to show the big mill white slabber. And the big mill white slabber is an equipment from Logosol to take care of these uh, large oversized logs uh, that you're not always uh, able to take care of with another sawmill. So we've developed a jig uh, with guide rails on the side to take care of logs from 66 inch up to 84 inch uh, wide. So you can uh, check that out on the web page. Uh, just uh, go to Chainsaw Mills and Big Mill and you can see all the models that we have. Uh, this uh, system is run by a really powerful uh, chainsaw. Uh, for today's live stream, we're using the uh, Steel AMS881, the new uh, big chainsaw from Steel. Uh, it's a 110cc motor with 9.5 horsepower, so it's, uh, it's a beast. The standard length that you can mill with the big mill is... Uh, three and a half, uh, 3.7 meters approximately. But since the big mill is uh, the big mill guide rails are the same guide rails as we use on our uh, other chainsaw mills, it's possible to extend them to give you unlimited length. And the log that we're having here today is uh, roughly three three meters in length. So, uh, so setting up for the first cut, as you can see, we've actually made the first cut already, uh, <laughs> but that's no problem. We're going to uh, make another cut here, or Anton is going to, mm -hmm. to make that cut. So, but first for setting it up, we need to attach the Guide rail holders <coughs> looks like this. Let's see if I can show them on camera. So that's the guide rail holders where you put the guide rails on each side, and this part is screwed onto the end of the log. And here, um, oh. So the first thing uh, we do is to attach this L profile to the log and it's good if you have a what is it called uh -huh. Le spirit level So if you have a spirit level you can get it perfectly uh, level on one side and on the other side and this profile just screws on here. Make sure it's level. Uh, screw it onto the log. And then when you have this here, it's quite easy to attach the guide rail holders. Hmm. Uh, the reason to why I left these uh, these profiles here already is because we made the previous cut and I want this cut to be exactly the same distance on both sides. So that's the only reason they are already screwed onto the lock. Uh, but you get the idea. Put the spirit level on there, attach it to the log, decide where you want the first cut to be. And then when this is level, Put this on that profile. That way you don't, you can do this hands-free. You can let it go and just attach it to the log with the uh, screws that we have there. So we have four Perfect. screws here, so you can just uh, bolt them in like four, yep. four holes there. <clears throat> and we want to get this a bit like centered. And I believe it's 
it's quite central right now. So just put them, like, space them out a little bit. Like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, feel. Do we have any questions? Yes, we have actually one. Uh, will you do a live stream with the chainsaw mills? Yes, yes, of in course. In two weeks, I think, we will have a, a really walk through the chainsaw mills yeah, from, from, exactly. the, from the beginning, uh, the different versions and models and, yeah. Is there a bonus in there? Oh, take, take another, another so hole if it doesn't work. I, I think we it's actually, the 7th actually, of uh, February. We, ha we had a live stream on the chainsaw mills last week. Mm -hmm where we had a bit of walkthrough and setting it up for the first cut. Mm -hmm. And we've had uh, live streams last year as well. But of course, we will have more live streams with the chainsaw mm. mills uh, this year. So does it matter that it's... No, no, it doesn't matter. Perfect. As long as it sits so tight, you can put one, I'll put one next up, one here. Up, up there. Yeah. Take it up there. I'll see. Perfect. Perfect. So then tight that, and sturdy. Yeah, exactly. And then we'll move on to the other side. And we'll do the exact same thing here. Put the spirit level on top of the profile. Screw the profile into the log. And when that's done, put the guide rail holders in position and line them up with the bottom ones or with the with the ones in the uh, other end of the log uh, and I've actually when we made the first cut previously we measured from the center of the log and up to get them going uh, so that we can have the uh, uh, guide bar going straight along the uh, mm. along the grain or along the center of the log so we know that they are positioned correctly from the center of the log and up. Uh, so now when they are also aligned against each other, we'll uh, screw that in position as well. And it's uh, really easy if you have a cordless drill like this to just uh, screw the uh, screw the screws into the end of the log. And it's good if the screws are a bit longer so that they attach good on the on the ends because it's actually harder to screw on the on the end grain than on the on from the sides so it's good if they have a, a good length so now uh, we've uh, attached the guide rail holders now it's time to attach the Take guide rails on top perfect. of these uh, holders so if you go from there I'll go from here and we'll take the first one there Push it, push it down on the on the, on the holder. Like there we that. go. Yeah. When that's done, we'll tighten the uh, the clamp. So these are actually uh, pretty uh, cool because they go inside or underneath the guide rail and clamps outwards. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a small uh, dent in the bottom which, which they go into. So when you clamped it properly, the guide rail is, is fixed in position. Perfect. And you can actually, I don't know if you can see it, but if you look up here, or if you feel, if you come here, Anton, yeah. you can feel that there's an edge in there. Oh yeah. On the, here. On the top. So that edge 
goes in. So that, that's what ah. they click in position. And then when you tighten these, there's no way they're going get, to get loose from there. Perfect. So that's one. Uh, let's take the other one as well. And we'll try and align them up so they extend the same length. So if you look at the end of that, just, I mean, about, it doesn't about, have to about be super. There? Yeah. I think it's. So you don't have to measure. No. You just no. look. That's right, a little sneer. Yeah, but you can. Uh, you can you see. Okay. You can just move it a little bit. And when that's there, we tighten on this side as well. And then I'm going to change position on these ones because the f uh, feeding line is going to go through okay. that eyelet. Now when everything is set up, like that, we'll lift the, uh, the big mill rig Perfect. up on the guide rails. So if you take that side and you back up. <laughs> Gotta watch the computer. <laughs> huh? We gotta watch the computer. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, so there we go. There we go. Then we have the the chainsaw uh, attached on one side, and we have the top of the guide bar attached on the other side. And if someone just joined in, we're using the MS eight hundred eighty one. Yes, exactly. So it's a, a huge chainsaw. Mm -hmm. And it's actually the, the new model. The old model uh, was called MS-880. So it's a really uh, big and powerful chainsaw, and it's needed when you're uh, cutting these types of slabs where mm. you're going really wide. So we have the chainsaw in the, in the bottom with the double-ended cannon bar, guide bar. And it's fixed in the top with a separate oil pump and water cooling. So this uh, chain will get uh, lubrication from both the chainsaw and the top of the guide bar. And it's, uh, you feed it through with a the, with the hand crank. So if you take that line. All right. Take it here. Yes. Under the saw? And uh, under the saw and go through those two eyelets. There we go. And on the other side. And then uh, just... Uh, through here? Yes, and make a, a knot. knot. Not the knot. Not, not the knot. Not the knot. <laughs> It was a bit Very funny. Maybe not. Okay, not can I buy your products from Bangladesh? Of course you can. Uh, if you go to lugosul.com and find the product there, uh, you can find out uh, the price and just send us an email with the product inquiry and we will help you out with the shipping cost uh, to Bangladesh. We, we do that every week, uh, people contacting us from countries where we don't have a dealer. So just uh, reach out to us, give us a call, send us an email, and we'll help you with a shipping quote to get the product to Bangladesh. Yeah, we that are very experienced in shipping worldwide. That should do it. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I see hope if that knot works or not. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, so and so uh, basically, uh, what you do is you push the gas, full throttle, 
mm -hmm. all the way and then just crank it forward slowly. And if you feel that you want to line it up a bit more, you just hold on this side and crank the front part. Okay. And then you let go on this side so you can move along cutting through the, the log. Let's see if we have, we have fuel. Oh, that's, it's exci that's, exciting. That's good, yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you will, you will uh, notice when you start it. It's a, it's a powerful chainsaw. Uh, you have the decomp mm? vent here, so you push it in before you pull. It becomes it easier. It becomes a bit easier. And it's the same as on the previous um, chainsaws. You push the the um, throttle and just pull this down to the bottom part. And mm -hmm. then when it starts, you just... I just hold push. it and start to use the crank. Yes. Perfect. And uh, you have glasses oh, yeah. that right. you can use there. And I will get some uh, ear protection as well. Uh, I've turned on the uh, valve for the oil here in the front. So that's on. We have oil here. Mm. So as soon as you start running, the, the oil lubrication will system will start. Will start even in the in the top. Perfect. So I'll just give you a hand by by holding here when you start it. Yep. Uh, stop, 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 oh, stop. We seem to have some. No, it's just uh, now. Ah, oh, there. You should have gone up with that. Or you should have, but it's not easy to know. But now when it started at first. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you keep cranking it we in the bottom position, it will get uh, soaked in gasoline. I so, see. So uh, we'll try here. Try with that.
Very good. And we're through. <laughs> well done. Great Thank done. You. Well done. Wow. Let's see if, we <laughs> it's, uh, if we're able to. Ah. It's really exciting to mill slabs this size. It's if, if you go to the other side, we can help out just. No, on this side. Oh, sorry. So we can lift it over to For there. Absolutely. A really nice wide slab. Wow. Looks great. Wow. And what a cut. <laughs> and three inches. Three in inches thick, thick. Do you have a dream project for it? Maybe a, a, a big, a nice coffee table or something. Yeah. Use these kind of slabs for. That would be great, awesome. Mm. Really nice. Fantastic. So, I mean, that's, that's one cut. And then to be able to set it up for the for the next cut we use these templates so it's just wooden boards with a uh, with a predetermined uh, width and this one especially is three inches so to set it up for the next cut actually you can you can do it on that side I'll, I'll show on this side first Anton absolutely uh, so we'll uh, we'll move it down here. We'll move the milling rig over here, and okay. then we'll then you can do it on that side. Yes. So so we remove this this L profile that we had in the bottom, and we put the spacer in between, and then reattach the L profile again. Okay, we got some comments. Hmm? Uh, effective and nice. Sorry. That's true. Really that's, true. That's good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also sells me. We'll start saving for that one. That's also a great Fantastic. video. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> that's a great comment. Do so. Okay, and Andreas, excellent teacher. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> And, and here is a question actually from Swaziland. I, I don't know if I've seen anyone uh, sending questions from Swaziland before. No. But anyway, uh, is that a standard kit to fit all chainsaws? Uh, no, it's, it's not. Uh, for the moment, it's, it's only the steel MS881 that fits. Uh, but we are uh, looking into adapting it for the Husqvarna 3120, which is also a really big uh, chainsaw. Mm. Uh, you can use the steel MS661, uh, but I mean, it's it's a powerful chainsaw, and you can use it. But the the something like the MS880 is a good choice. Mm. It's a better choice. So you saw that. Yep. I put the spacer between, just move down the L bar and then drop the guide rail holders onto the L bar again. Yeah. And then we reattach it. So that way we, we move the the guide rail holders down three, three inches. Three inches. Which means we are now Parallel and below the previous cut. Yeah, and ready for the next one. And ready for the next one. So we'll go over to the other side so we can... First we'll move the... We take the... Jig. The rig and then... Move it to the start position again. There we like go. Like that. And then you can 
You can do it on this side. Absolutely. We can maybe just, yeah. Do I, yeah, there's the L. So firstly, I you, you lose detach it. this one. Yeah. The support profile. How much is a system like this? How? Much money. Uh, the cost for the system <laughs> can be found online. <laughs> uh, if you go to lugusul.com, you can find all the prices. We must know, otherwise we can't start save money for it. No, exactly. <laughs> That's a really good good comment. But yeah. go into lugusul.com and find uh, all the prices there. Go to chainsaw mills and big mill. There we go. Exactly. So now I'm attaching the, the L bar. Yeah. So ju you just spaced it with the, with the wooden board. And of course, uh, the board that you use, you can make custom templates that you can use yourself. If you want to do four inch, three inch or two inch, you can do whatever thickness you want by using or making your own uh, templates. Uh, we have a comment here. Uh, perhaps we should clarify how easy this is, because um, the comment is like this. Uh, I see little interest in this type of mill, always changing the height with uh, screws, and if you mess up, you get uneven cuts. I mean, uh, it's it's a really simple system, and by using the guide rails, uh, you get accuracy and it perhaps looks more I mean it's really easy it's not complicated at all and by using the support bar in the bottom you move them precisely the exact uh, distance every single time and it takes I mean now we are uh, Anton is, is learning and we want it to, I mean, we want everyone to understand how it works. Uh, but if you watch our previous uh, live streams or videos about the big mill, uh, we actually show that this is quite a fast process. It takes perhaps 30 seconds to, to reset it for the next cut. So it's not very time consuming. And by, uh, by doing it with this system and just using a template like this, you get the exact same movement every time and very good All set. accuracy. And then we're done. So now we've set up for the next cut. We do the milling again, and then we do the same procedure again. So it's, it's really, really easy. Uh, and really accurate thanks to these guide rails supporting it on each end. More questions? Please write them in the chat. Uh, perhaps we could do some close-ups uh, with the system here. Yeah, I'll do the, I'll do the secret <laughs> sign again. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a skip chain. Uh, can you tell us about it and where you can purchase them? It's exactly. It is a skip chain. It is a, a chain that uh, Oregon refers to as hyperskip. Uh, so it's the, we're actually using the Oregon 27RX. It's a 0 .404 chain. Uh, 0 .404 pitch and 1.6 millimeter uh, gauge. So as you can see here, here is one pair of teeth, and then we have a distance of more than 30, 20 centimeters before we have the next pair of teeth. So it's a, it's a really uh, special ripping chain that works very well uh, for these type of applications mm. when you are milling um, wide like this. You save a lot of uh, on the, on the cutting time 
by uh, if we would have uh, gone with a with a regular full tooth chain we would see a speed decrease so it gives gives a good cut good finish and it cuts much faster than a full full tooth chain so and this is as you can see probably in the top here you can see that it's a it's a double ended guide bar so we have uh, a guide bar that can be attached to a chainsaw in both ends and we've chosen to make a special guide bar uh, mount in the top part with an uh, oil pump so we can uh, feed the side. so we can feed the other side of the bar with oil as well so we have the oil tank here and actually the same oil pump that you can find in several steel chainsaws so a really reliable oil pump that gives a really good flow of oil yeah perhaps a look on the other side on the yeah. carriage and the mount of the chainsaw yeah the chainsaw is attached uh, the same way as we are attaching chainsaws to all our other mills, the F2 or F2 Plus, for example, we have the uh, spacer nuts, the Lugosol nuts up there that actually attach to the side of the cover. You replace the, the nuts that are on the cover already. <laughs> I'm yeah. almost going nuts here. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Um, and you attach it to the, um, to the chainsaw carriage like this. And integrated in the chainsaw carriage, we have the a crank feed so it's just a, a crank with a with a pulley and we winch the big mill rig forward so really easy and effortless wouldn't you say yeah I, I can only agree and you can also see the uh, yeah we have the plastic slides yeah. here that actually prevent the um, the chainsaw from moving towards mm -hmm. the log. Yeah. And on the other side, we only have plastic slides that lie on top of the guide rail. Yeah, and it slides qu quite effortlessly. It's, it, it's, it goes really smoothly on the, on the guide, guide rail. So are we set up for another cut or yes. any more? We're doing another one. Sawdust today. Yeah, we can we can do another one, but perhaps we'll uh, fuel up the All right. chainsaw first. It's quite an amazing experience when you use a chainsaw this size for the first time. But Andreas, do you have any like tips or recommendations for first time millers? If you're new, if you're new to the to the, to the milling and creating your own uh, boards, what would be your recommendations? No, I mean, often when it comes to products, for example, the Lugosol products, we have a quite uh, large range of different, mm. let's say, chainsaw mills, for example, and it's it depends on what you what you want to get out from of the milling. This is one uh, special case, perhaps, where you have large logs or you're able to source logs that a normal sawmill can't handle. And of course, getting logs like this uh, to a decent cost with those slabs, I mean, really large slabs, it's very much fashion mm. yeah, right it's, now. It's I mean, I can uh, read about it and see stuff about it online everywhere making large tables coffee tables dinner mm. tables uh, with these large slabs so there's a good opportunity to earn money with a product like this um, and taking care of logs that perhaps no one else takes care of uh, but for being new to the business i mean we have steps from the small timber jig up to this 
and our band sawmills. So mm. it all depends on what what you want to do with it. Uh, the timber jig is really good because you can. It's a low cost. Um, I mean, a small investment, easy to use, and it gives you an idea of how it is to mill your own uh, lumber. And then from the timber jig and up, depending on if you're experienced already or you don't have to be experienced to have an F2 or an F2+, mm. uh, it gives that little extra in terms of precision and uh, user friendliness compared yeah. to the timber jig perhaps. So it, it all depends. But we are here to help. And of course, that's uh, why we're doing these live streams and why we do our videos on our product videos, of course, uh, to be able to give you a sense of how it is to use our products, to show you how easy it is, and uh, to share our experience with our products and what other customers do with our products. Perfect. Yes. So let's uh, go for it again then. Huh? Repeat uh, what type of uh, chainsaw we have. We have a question Rinse in Russia, but I, I think it's a question about <laughs> the chainsaw. The chainsaw mill. Yeah. Uh, the chainsaw. No, the chainsaw. Uh, on, on this, on the big mill system here today, we have the steel MS881, which is the chainsaw we recommend to our big mill. And the new version. And it's eight. the new version, the uh, ver version, 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 <laughs> version. MS881. The old version was called MS880, and that uh, is a product that we've sold a lot of, and that also fits the uh, the big mill system. So if you if you already own an MS880, or if you're planning to purchase the new MS881, you can. Uh, use it, and it fits perfectly on the big mill system. Perfect. So are you ready for it again? I am, I am. I don't know if you need to use the, perhaps only... How many coffee tables do you need, Anton? How many coffee tables <laughs> do you need? Quite a few. <laughs> or, do you want to, or do you want to make <laughs> business? It will be a li late e evening <laughs> show, this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Making new tables for the office. Yeah. Yeah, all the time. Every day. We'll have tables everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Anton is just so happy using the big mail and yeah. you know, yeah, producing yeah. tables all Where the time. Where is Anton? Yeah, he's no, here, he's producing he tables <laughs> again. <laughs> Another set of tables. <laughs> Ah, shoka då. Ner. Ja, men shoka. Ja. Det är längst ner va? Ja. Vänta. Se till så att den stannar. Så. så, och så öppnar den. Så. Ja. Nej. Vill du den inte? Lite sur.
Nice. And we're through. <laughs> Again. <Yeah>. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, you can keep doing this all night. <laughs> oh. So me and, Co me and Corin will go now. And yeah. you can just... Detach everything. Continue. Not detach. You can, you can, can keep ah, milling. milling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have, Perfect. The you have the tables to produce yeah. and everything. So. <laughs> yeah, it feels like you could go on all night. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. actually uh, quite amazing. <laughs> Uh, okay, a comment or question. Sorry, yeah. tune in late. What chain is used to rip slabs? Uh, this uh, this is the uh, Oregon 27RX, uh, the hyper skip chain that we're using. Perfect chain for this application. Mm. And repeat, what type of uh, chainsaw? The we MS881. The MS881, the biggest chainsaw from steel. 110 cc and nine and a half horsepower. Great. We also got a comment about uh, the B751 uh, before you made the last cut, Anton. Uh, and to that person, we could say that we have a lot of uh, live streams on YouTube that you can look into um, about the Benson Mills. And mm. we have also plans for uh, Benson Mills, uh, I think, next week. Is it uh, it's next week? We're having the setting it up for the first cut. Yeah. So uh, a bit of tuning and uh, setting up the Benson Mills. And as Karin mentioned, we have last year we uh, we did quite many uh, yeah. live streams on the Banso Mill. So if you want to watch them, uh, just go to our YouTube channel and you can find them there. But of course, we will uh, also do more uh, Banso Mill uh, live demos uh, this spring. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Okay, is it a good idea to insert wood sticks in the size of the blade height uh, during the cutting to avoid pressure on the blade and making the cut smoother? Uh, if it's if it's ne necessary, yes. Mm. You can you can use um, wedges and wedge them in uh, while you're milling, and of course, the most pressure you will get when you exit the the log. But today it was no need. It worked fine. Mm. No, and I mean, you can, you can perhaps get a <laughs> bit of a better um, throughput with it. Uh, but dep also depends on the thickness of the slab mm. uh, that you're uh, milling. If it's if it's uh, wider than this and and uh, thicker, of course, uh, it's good with a with a wedge. And you mm. also feel it if if it pinches really hard, you can't even feed it through. And as uh, Anton experienced, it went really smooth. Mm. And a question from Wales. Uh, has the chain been modified in any way, such as m removing some of the teeth? The chain hasn't been modified in any way. Uh, we're using a factory produced chain from Oregon. So it's, a, it's already a hyper skip chain that they call it. Mm. Do you have any questions, Anton? Not really, but I, ca I, ca <laughs> I can only assure that it's a fantastic experience using this, uh, this mill and uh, the chainsaw. And it's, it's like an experience full of, full of uh, smells, and you kind of get lost into it as well. It's uh, an experience on many levels. Yeah, you get, you get sort of addicted to it. Yeah, I, th <laughs> I, I, I can really sense that. Mm -hmm. Like this. How does this feel? <laughs> Mangle. Amazing. Mangle. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and it you're, initi take you're it officially in initiated. <laughs> <laughs> baptized in, in baptized in sawdust. In sawdust. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but I think that's it for today. Yeah. 
Mm. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it interesting and uh, fun. And I hope you got uh, replies on all your uh, questions that you had. And uh, wish Anton the very best here at Logosoul. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps you. you've seen him already on our Spanish live streams that we've had. Uh, but we'll see more of uh, Anton here in the future uh, in the coming live streams. And uh, if you want to know more about Logosoul, visit our homepage, logosoul.com, and sign up for our newsletter uh, to be the first to know uh, stuff from Logosoul. Take care. Bye. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.